In this video, we'll take a look at how an XT16 joystick controller from Skahoy can integrate with a Blackmagic Micro Studio camera sitting on top a Rushworks PTX Universal Pan Tilt Head. So, if you look at the setup we have right here, this is the XC16 joystick controller. You will see this control Visca cameras in other videos. We have a joystick, we have sections for preset recall, camera selections. This is a small menu section where you can decide if these knobs will adjust exposure, white balance, color, image, user banks, and whatnot. So, uh, over here we have the Rushworks PTX Universal Pan Tilt Head, and on top the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera. And now you need to look at what is wired up here. This would be the SDI output from the camera. So the camera's SDI output here will go into the pan tilt head and then out on this BNC connector. That's a great feature. So we also have an SDI in. This is even cooler because now from the joystick controller from Skahoy, you send coloring, shading data and pan tilt data through the SDI into the pan tilt head that will send it up to the camera and on the breakout cable of the Blackmagic camera you have now the PTC control wire which is sending Visca commands serially into this plug. I am pretty sure you would like to have your own little breakout cable with all or without all the um, cables or the wires you don't need and just those two, three wires you need to send into the pan tilt head. I have tried to simplify it here as much as I can, and if I were to go even further, I could remove this USB cable, which I used for configuration just a moment ago. So, we now have the simplest possible setup. That is, the Skahoy controller, SDI into the pan tilt head, signals coming up to the camera, out of the camera, we have the SDI data converted into serial Visca commands going into the head. And now you'll see the effect because as I move the joystick, you can see how the camera pans, as expected. That's pretty neat. So we can use the joystick for pan tilt. And we also have preset banks. So on the XC16, we can press this button to recall a preset I put up here. We can recall this button or press this button to recall another preset. And that's all standard Skahoy Visca implementations. So the basic message in this video is that you can finally take a Blackmagic Micro Studio camera and use as a robotic camera. That's something we have been dreaming on for years, especially since for, you know, since the Blackmagic Micro Studio uh, camera came to the street, we could see that pan tilt functionality was already thought into the breakout cable. And finally we had it. Back in November, they added it to the protocol, so a firmware upgrade to your camera would enable this feature. And we have now integrated with Skahoy controllers. Of course we have. So you have this very nice alternative to uh, native robotic cameras. But before I let, I let you go, I would like to share with you a few details about the pinout on the wires. So um, if you look at the diagram on the screen here, um, you'll see that the, the plug that carries the Visca commands um, has uh, RX and TX plus and minus here. And first of all, you only need TX. There's no reason to wire up the RX as far as we can tell. Um, we, we can't, first of all, we didn't do it ourselves. It works without. And we don't know whatever the Blackmagic camera should use uh, receiving data for. So it's just the TX you need to wire. And you need to keep in mind that Blackmagic screwed up the plus and the minus. So uh, what what is TX minus here is really uh, plus and vice versa. So uh, you need to swap those two. Anyway, we'll post a wiring diagram on uh, on a link with this video so that you will have an easy time setting this up if you have a chance to try out the great Rushworks PTX Universal Pan Tilt Head with your Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera and your Skahoy joystick controller.